Hello everybody, I'm Nighthead. We are playing Feed the Beast, episode 32. Uh, in the last episode we got this thing set up. This is our biomass production center, facility, plant, what have you. Uh, we're going to put redwood saplings in here, and we're going to put compost down here. It'll pump out as much biomass as we want, which we'll collect there. But today... Today we need to get the actual inputs coming in. We need to set up the sapling farm uh, that's going to feed it. Uh, and we're going to do it over where the agriplex was. And I say was because some changes have happened. And I think it's more or less defunct. And we're going to do some neat stuff with the bees anyway. That's going to require those chunks to be loaded. So it just makes sense to put the redwood trees over there as well. So let's go do that. The other reason is because I don't want them down here. I was looking around trying to find a space to put them. Uh, the trees are quite large and they would be very obvious pretty much no matter where they went. Like even over there I was thinking about or... Kind of looking around to see if I can hide them under a mountain. But I could, but it wouldn't be easy and it would re require me to load even more chunks. So yeah, we're going to go over to the Agriplex. So I'm going to head over there. I'll be right back. And we'll continue. Okay, we're over at the Agriplex. Uh, let's get out our drill. And what we need to do... Uh, how we're going to do this is we're going to have a turtle that chops down the trees as well as replants it. Uh, and we're just going to have to make a little pad for the trees to actually grow on. That'll have to be f two by two. So that'll be it there, and then let's come out on the sides of it, uh, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's go ten, let's get that dirt so we can make the edge, there we go, <clears throat> so we'll go out ten, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that'll be our wall right there. And we'll go 10 this way as well. 4, 6, 8, 10. And so the reason uh, that I'd like to put it out here is 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Um, is that probably next episode we're going to set up some B stuff over here. I would like to do... Because I've been spending so much time over at the other base that I haven't had really much time to do any B stuff. <clears throat> and as a result, I can't build alvearies yet because I don't have the proper bees. So I figure what we can do is set up a... Am I out of power? Set up kind of a remote bee breeding system with tesseracts that will, <clears throat> you know, kind of return the bees to us uh, for analysis. And then we can just pop them into, you know, the chest that uh, with another item tesseract and it'll just bring them back out to the, uh, the appropriate apiary. So that is the plan for that, and that's what we're going to be doing maybe next episode. Uh, I'm just going to keep clearing this out. I'm going to get a little bit of a base in here, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is going to be the basin that will catch all of the saplings. Uh, and actually, before we do that, I'll just show you around a little bit here. I've torn up all of the the farms, more or less. Uh, and the reason for that is, and I don't think I've talked about this yet, is... It sounds like those have a limited lifespan now. <clears throat> like, they're not going to last very long. Uh, we need some water. Um, with the introduction of the forestry multi-block farms, it sounds like that's the way the mod developer wants to go. That he felt the, the old-style farms were uh, a little too OP. Actually, you know what? I should make an infinite water right here first. Uh, and so, while those the old-style farms aren't being removed from the game, 
they are no longer being supported. So whenever they do break, uh, that'll be basically the end of them. So it makes sense to kind of switch it up now. Or just, you know, find alternate ways of doing things. Rather than waiting until you're forced to. Plus, I, I don't think that's actually necessary. I think there's better ways of doing it. Uh, maybe with... Well, what I'm going to try for the, the compost... <clears throat> is we're going to use... Uh, red power. Red power... Uh, of a setup I saw on the Reddit, where you use uh, block breakers and deployers, and then just time them with redstone ticks, and it should work even better than any other kind of uh, wheat farm out there. So ironically, by judging his mod to be too OP, uh, who's the forestry guy? Sengir? He has inadvertently forced me to use an even more OP system. How long that will remain, I don't know. It seems... Uh, actually, it reminds me of the... Uh, the Final Fantasy XI developers. Where there was never... Never any kind of trick that the players learned that they didn't think... Didn't really exist, or shouldn't be existing. So they would make a point of... Removing anything that was discovered from the game. You know, as soon as anybody found out about it. And that seems to be how a lot of these mod developers are doing their jobs. Uh, where do we want the other water flow? If we put one there, there, and there, how's that going to work? That's going to be a problem. <clears throat> what if we did this? Um... Well, where's the water ending? Yeah. So we need something there. That sort of works, except for that. Hmm. Is that even right? No. So how is this... So there's one, two, one. One, two, one. Okay. So what we need is another water block there, but that's going to make that a solid water block. Are they still going to flow? As long as they're flowing, I don't mind. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. That's not so much of a problem. Yeah. Okay, we'll do... Oh, I have another one there, too. Okay, there we go. That'll work. That'll work. Everything's flowing out now. Okay. I'm going to repeat that on the other corners, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, so I have the water set up. It's going to flow into the middle there. And what we're going to do directly below it here in this pit, where all the water is going to collect... Uh, so we're going to put an item tesseract right there, and then we're going to put some iron transport pipes around it, and we're going to have it all direct into the tesseract. So anything that'll it'll all just come around either side, and on the top we're going to put some obsidian transport pipes. So everything should get all directed into the tesseract. This is set up to go to the biomass in, which is our entrance to the uh, biomass facility, and then we're just going to knock out a couple blocks here, just like this, whoop. And that will make all of the water come into the center, and kind of looks like we have to knock out these ones too. And that one, and that one. Okay, 
So now everything that falls into the pool uh, will get collected in the middle. And we might lose some saplings from around the edge. I don't think the trees grow much bigger than this uh, as far as their width goes. Like, this is about 20 wide, and I don't think they get much bigger than that. They might. They might extend over the edge a little bit, but it's not going to be so much that it would be even noticeable, really. Um, so to plant these, we're going to put down some redstone saplings, and we're going to put down one of these guys. This is a turtle that I have already loaded with a program. Uh, it's not really commented on yet. Um, I could do that if anybody's interested. I might upload this to Pastebin. Uh, but the basic idea is... It's going to sit here once we start running the program and just keep running the program until it... Um, <clears throat> Until it finds out that there's a tree in front of it. It'll be checking every 20 seconds to see if there's a tree there. And once it does, it'll chop it down. It'll use some of the wood that it collects to power itself. Oh. And then... Oh, no, let's just get out of the program. And then it'll dump all the rest of its contents down here, which they'll all just flow in there as well, and head over to the sorting system biomass facility kind of thing. Uh, but right now, I made a second or a third portal gun, actually. This is just so we can jump back over to the main base. There we go. And then we'll come around over here. Because I need a chunk loader. And I should already have some. I think I already had some pre-made. Maybe. Where did I put them? Not there. Never ends. Are they in here? Okay, maybe they're over here. If they aren't, I'm, I'm going to cut for a second and go find them. It wouldn't be in that. What about in here? Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go grab a chunk loader. Okay, I couldn't find them, so we're just going to make our own. And we're going to make one of these ones. We're going to make uh, just a chunk loader. And so for that, we need an enchanting table. Uh, there we go. And then we need some gold and an ender pearl. And that gives us this, which is pretty cool. Let's head back over to the forestry base. There we go. And we'll put it down, I guess, over here. Yeah. Yeah, there, there works. So we'll put that there. And these are pretty cool. You can do some neat things with these. So it's loading right now a radius of two chunks around the chunk that it's in. Uh, for nine chunks, If you, you can turn this on. And it'll kind of show you the area that's loaded, so as we can see, it's actually not getting right to the center of that, so we're going to actually want to move it over. There we go. Let's actually put it, I guess, maybe right here. That guarantees that the tree will be loaded. So, show the lasers. Yeah. Okay, that works. Turn them off. And yes, my in-character name is Nycadmium, because Nycad was taken. I actually chose... I don't actually usually use Nycad as a screen name. I did specifically because the one that I usually do use is taken. As it often is, there's one other guy out there who uses that name, and he always beats me to every game. So I chose this one, and somebody else beat me to this. So... Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is all ready to go. The only thing I'm not sure of. Okay, so he's going to wait 20 seconds, see if there's a tree there. <clears throat> the only thing I'm unsure of is, do we have any bones? Whether the turtle will run while we are out of the area. 
It might not. Let's make sure he's got enough saplings for a little while. Get back out here. Let's hit this. And in 20 seconds, he should start chopping that down. Got quite a bit of leaves on that, buddy. So we should get quite a few saplings out of it. Yeah, there he goes. <clears throat> so then, as soon as the saplings start dropping, we'll head back over to the... Uh, the biomass production facility and see if we're actually getting anything coming through. I'm pretty sure because the chunk is loaded, he'll keep working. I'm just not absolutely certain. It might be that um, he might work like a mob. Because I've seen a lot of posts where people are saying, Oh, I have my chunks loaded, but the turtle stopped. Why'd that happen? How can I fix this? Uh, <clears throat> uh, and if that's the case... This might not work at all, so we'll find out. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have uh, saplings coming soon. So let's go over there and see if he stopped. And there. Okay. So we should see... Yeah, okay, so stuff is coming through. He is... Well, at least the tree is falling apart. I don't know if he's actually still working. But you should get pretty close to a stack per tree. And I'm thinking they'll regrow faster than these can process. So at some point we might start overflowing. That's my hope, anyway. Coming a little bit faster now. These routers are amazing. These are one of the best things in the game, in my opinion. It makes setting something like this up so much easier, where you don't have to worry about how you're going to load stuff into them. It just simplifies that aspect so much. You can also do upgrades for these. Um... There's a... where is it? Is this the one? No. No. Oh, there we go. Speed boost. <clears throat> and that's dark iron. Sugar and a cake makes a speed boost. And there's a little bit of a delay when it, if you have a stack in here where it'll slowly kind of work through it. But if you have the speed boost, it'll be pretty much instant between jumping between the machines and putting stuff in. Oh, here comes quite a few more. Yeah, it's really starting to pump now. There we go. Sort of. We may actually need to to keep up. Now that I think now that I actually see it working. Okay, so while that's doing that. Uh, the other thing we need to look at is how we're going to get wheat. Uh, so I'm just going to get the stuff together for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use red power machines for this. Uh, so the first thing we need is one of these block breakers. And that's cobblestone, redstone, pistons, and we use an iron pickaxe. So there's the iron pickaxe. I've already made the pistons, and we have some redstone here. So there's our block breaker, and we also need uh, two deployers, and that's uh, that, that, and some redstone, and cobble again. Oh, and there's my cat. She wants in, but I, she can't come in because she's going to make a lot of noise. Um... Okay, we also need a hoe. Do I have a hoe? Eh, possibly not. Okay, let's quickly make one of them, too. 
<clears throat> oh, and we also need uh, some repeaters. But I want to use the redstone repeaters. So let's take a look. How do we make those? Uh, so that's how you make these. I'm going to have to make some of these. I'm going to do that off screen because I think we're kind of running low on time and I don't want this to run too long. Uh, so I'll be right back. We've made these things before, so I'm just going to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cleared out some space over here. We're going to set up our kind of wheat farm sort of thing right here. And this is all the room that we need. So we're going to put uh, one of the deployers there, one there. We're going to put the block breaker right there. And then we'll have the block breaker empty out into a... Do I not have it with me? Oh, okay, let's run and grab it. We need an auto crafting table. And there should... I made one, so there should be one here. Maybe it's in here. There it is. Okay, auto crafting table. While I'm up here, is there anything else I need? No. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, there we go. So that's going to pump out into an auto crafting table. And we actually don't have any wheat on us. Is there any over here? So we did need wheat. Okay. Off to a good start. Uh, one wheat. There is some over here, I think. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so we'll just get this set up to start accepting wheat. I could have done that better, but I didn't. Um, there. Okay. So that, all the wheat will come into here, they'll get uh, put into that, then we're going to have a wooden transport pipe there, and we do should have some autarkic gates kicking around here. Maybe they're down in the B area. Yee. What? Come on! Why is... Okay. You know what? I'll be right back. Okay, I got him. I am so looking forward to having a proper storage area. So looking forward to it. Just something that I can come up to a chest and just dump everything in and it'll sort it for me. That is going to be so sweet. Okay, so this goes to biomass in. This is send only. Uh, this is going to, uh, when there's items in inventory, energy, pulser. I think that should be working. Why is it not working? Um... You know, stuff works when you do it in creative and then you come over here and it doesn't work and you have no idea why. So, wooden, wooden transport pipe, that. Items in inventory, energy pulser, should be pumping things out. God, I have no idea. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, my fault, my fault. <laughs> yeah, not the mod, not not anything else. There we go. So we actually don't need a whole lot of this, so that's going to be fine. So how we're going to set this up is we're going to have these uh, redstone, or not redstone repeaters, but these red power repeaters over here. And we're just going to kind of space them out like that. And uh, we're going to use red alloy wire. There we go. 
So that'll go like that, that like that. This will... Um, for now, it'll come down like this, I guess. Is that actually going to contact it? Am I going to have to come up? Maybe like this? There. That should work. Okay. And we're going to set this one to 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then we'll just run that like that to there. Do we have a lever on us? No, of course we don't have a lever. We only make 500 of them every episode. Why would we have one? Okay. Do that there. And we got... Did it crash on me? No. Okay. There we go. Froze for a sec. Uh, we have this timer. We're going to set up a timer right there. It's disabled because of that. We're going to set this... Let's actually put it to three seconds just to be safe. <clears throat> and then we're going to load this one with some seeds. And we actually don't need a whole lot. They're going to go through uh, quite quickly. I'm just going to run and grab some bones. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the bones. Let's uh, make some bone meal. Pop that all in there. There we go. Okay. Now, one change that will be necessary uh, in 1.5 is that because you need more bone meal to grow up a plant to full... Um, this is the second one I made over here, isn't it? No, oh, maybe not. Uh, it will require having maybe like two or three repeaters, three or four repeaters on the middle one. So you'll just have to widen it, and that should work fine. You'll just have to change the settings accordingly. Uh, because uh, they increase the amount of bone meal that you need to actually grow wheat. I think you need like four of them now. But not in this version, so this will work. For Feed the Beast, anyway, right now. So what's going to happen is this is going to deploy a seed into the fertile land. That's going to hit it with bone meal. This is going to break it. It's going to head over here into the auto-crafting system. When it has enough, it's going to pop it out here, and they're all going to go over there. So let's turn this on. Bam. Yeah, see? Works really fast. In fact, we could probably change that setting to one second, and it would still work great. Oh, oh, right, the seeds. The seeds. That, um... That needs to be changed. Okay. Let's turn this off. Uh, let's grab one more autarkic gate. There we go. I found them. They were over there. They were behind the chest that I was looking in because I couldn't see that chest from the angle I was looking at it. So let's break... Oh, let's break these. Uh, this is going to output and... Oh, no. This is going to output directly into a chest. We'll do this. There we go. Okay, we'll put the chest there. That's going to output to that. We're going to get... Uh, oh, do I not have any wooden transfer pipes? Please? Crap. Okay, really sorry this is so disjointed, but yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to put the wooden transport pipe there. We're going to put a golden transport pipe there. We're going to have this coming off on this side, just going right back around there. That's going to be the seeds. We're going to have that going there. That's going to be the wheat. Uh, so we have seeds, and that's going down yellow. And that's the steel... One of the wheat. Uh, and the wheat's going to go red. 
and yellow. Okay, done. Let's put these seeds in here. Put that wheat back. There we go. Oh, right, the gate. Uh, items in inventory, energy pulse. <clears throat> so here they come. Seeds go that way as they should. Wheat should come straight through. It is doing so. That's all coming out there. That's going to go into this. It's going to end up out of here, which it's doing. Yeah, there it is. Into the router. Router puts it in. And we don't actually need a whole lot of it, so we can only run this really whenever we need it. We're going to turn that off for now. So there you go. There we have it. Uh, how are we for saplings? So we are getting saplings. We're getting quite a bit of saplings, so the turtle's running. This is all working out. Awesome. We have a bio, uh, biomass production facility. We can turn all these on now. And they will run basically in perpetuity. As much as we want. We really, we could probably expand this to even more, maybe. It depends on how fast it's going to go through those. But yeah, really cool. So that's been a really extended biomass production episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative, at least. And yeah, next time I think we're going to do a little bit of bee work. So I'll see you next time. Once again, I am Nightcad. We are playing Feed the Beast. Take care.